Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we'll be looking to talk a little bit about Ken Levine's new game, Judas, which has been getting lots of new information via interviews that he's had with IGN and others around the gaming industry. For you that don't know, Ken Levine is the mastermind behind the Bioshock series and the man behind Irrational Games. So when this game was initially announced, a lot of Bioshock fans came out in excitement, me as well. And some of you guys might have followed me due to my somewhat controversial short where I mentioned that Bioshock Infinite was hated in 2023. Uh, now there's a misconception that I hate the game and that I'm a clickbaiter when in reality I was just talking about the articles that came around during that time which was the 10 year anniversary of the game and you know there was just a lot of hate around it so I just curious to know why but in reality that's not the point what I want to do here today is I want to look at Judas and what the game will be but I also want to look at Ken Levine and his new studio and how it came about so we're going to dive a little bit into the history of Judas and its development Thank you for joining me and let's begin. So Judas is a first person action adventure game that is being developed by Ghost Story Games and it still doesn't have a release date, but when it does come out, it'll come to modern consoles and the PC. Judas follows the story of three humans aboard a generational ship called the Mayflower. A generational ship is a hypothetical type of interstellar arc starship that travels at sub light speed. Now the Mayflower is carrying the last remnants of humanity on it and it is headed for the Proxima Centauri which is a star located about 4.3 light years away from the sun. The people on the ship differ in opinions regarding the fate of humanity. Once they arrive at their destination, Tom wants humanity to stay in its original form. However, his wife Nefertiti wants to transform humanity into a race of robots that are free of flaw, and their adopted daughter Hope basically wants to stop existing. The computer system within the Mayflower is responsible for controlling the humans aboard. This includes grooming the human residents to be model citizens and report on those that deviate from expected behavior. However, the game's main character Judas will awaken at the start of the game to the Mayflower having basically collapsed and she will try and figure out what has happened on the ship. And according to the game's director Ken Levine, Judas has a long history with the three characters that we mentioned earlier, Tom, Nefertiti, and Hope. But Ken revealed in an interview this week with IGN that Judas is actually trying to escape or get off of the Mayflower, as it is basically a sinking ship. He said that the main character has some memory loss due to some events that occurred in the game. He would also state that every time that you die, you get reprinted and you get to continue your journey. Now when asked who is reprinting the main character, he said that he didn't really want to spoil that. So there's definitely a lot going on within the game and its story. Ken Levine would also state that with Judas, we wanted to craft an experience where these decisions and how the story unfolds is up to you. He's basically telling us that there's more replayability in Judas than any other game that he's made. And he wanted to do that on purpose, so no two playthroughs ever feel the same. He would go on to say that you siding with any of the three humans we mentioned earlier would change the course of his story and the events that occur. Now regarding the concept of Judas, apparently it began or the idea came about around 2014 after Bioshock Infinite's release. Ken wanted to create a game that was replayable and cited narrative Lego as one of the biggest inspirations. What that means is basically you're allowed to tweak the story elements and deliver multiple outcomes to your games. However, Ken's studio Irrational Games would lay off the majority of its staff that same year in 2014 and would only keep about 15 employees. Ken stated that Bioshock Infinite took a really big toll on him and he wanted to focus on creating smaller story driven games under the leadership of take two interactive their parent company and back in 2017 the name irrational games would be shut down and rebranded into ghost story games which was founded by 12 former members of irrational games ken levine would remain president and creative director and the team was ready for a new and fresh start the development of judas by ghost story games hasn't been smooth sailing as they have faced some difficulties and the game would be labeled as stuck in development hell by bloomberg who stated that ken levine's style of work was leading to burnout among amongst his employees. But by the end of 2022, Judas would get official confirmation with its reveal trailer. And it was well received with many Bioshock fans excited to play the new game as it clearly would follow the same idea in terms of look and playability as Bioshock. But Ken Levine has stated that Judas will be much more challenging than any Bioshock game before it. And with a lot of the new information that has come out in the past week um, and some interviewers getting to play as much as six hours of the game, it looks like Judas is on track for its predicted release of March 2025. However, there is no confirmation on that. That is just a prediction. And something that I'd like to touch upon here is the key difference from Judas and Bioshock. 
Now, according to Ken Levine, Judas is a game that will not tell you what you're going to do next, like Bioshock did. And from my understanding, watching and reading the interviews, it seems like it'll be more up to you to figure out where to go next and what to do. It also looks like there will be some backtracking uh, when it comes to the game, and I almost want to compare it to Resident Evil and how they make you revisit certain areas to pick up keys and things like that to be able to unlock the next levels. Basically, Levine has said that it won't be as smooth for players that are used to Bioshock because it will require players to figure it out as they go, something that Bioshock didn't really do. And to be quite honest with you, that kind of scares me just on a personal level because I'm not super excited when it comes to those types of games. However, I do really enjoy Resident Evil and Bioshock gave me a feeling that not many games did uh, after I played it. So I'm definitely going to be picking Judas up, but I think that there's others out there that may feel similar to how I feel regarding Judas new story approach. And some older Bioshock fans might not really be too happy about it. And that is basically all that I have right now for Judas ghost story games and ken levine i wanted to just dive in a little deeper to see where the game was at how it came to be and what the game's story and focus was going to be about now with all these interviews and all this information that has come out there is a lot more to the story that i have left out you can look some of the interviews up and ken levine goes a little bit deeper into the story what it's about what it entails and things like that. Now, if you guys want, we can take a look into that story and I can break it down, everything that he said about the story. If that's something that you guys are interested in, let me know down in the comments below and we can cover the story of Judas as much as we can before it's released so we can get more familiar with the story and we can be more prepared for what's to come. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little history or deep dive or whatever you want to call it. I am extremely excited for Judas and I will catch you guys in our next video.